Hi everyone, welcome to TrackPlan. In this video, I'm going to talk about the recommended initial steps to get started with the app. One of the first things we recommend to set up are the sites. Each building can be set up as a site, and then it can after be divided into locations and sublocations. Sites can be categorized into site types and regions, which you can configure on the settings area. Each site location and sub-location can be given their own codes. Reactive jobs are created against sites and locations within a site. Plan schedules can be set up against sites, locations within sites or against assets. Sites can be loaded in from a spreadsheet using the Upload Center, but we recommend creating the sites through the interface of, for a small number of sites. Note that assets must belong to a site and optionally to a location or sublocation within a site. Job requests are work orders raised by staff members for work to be done. Users can create requests by logging into TrackPlan and completing a simple research. These requests can be approved into reactive jobs for the help desk to manage. In addition, users can email in requests to a designated email address, which will create requests in TrackPlan. The email request can be correctly routed through the correct site or an and location if the staff member and their email address are set up as site contacts. Decide if you want to use your requests and how you want to use them. Each user can be given access to all sites, a single site, or just many sites. This is managed from the settings area, and then go into users area. Each user can be assigned a role, give full access or res restricted access to the features. User settings control when they receive emails and what they are able to do. See the user detail page for each user in the users area. In addition, user types can be set up with a predetermined set of rights. Users can be assigned to a user type to make user management easy. Contractors and internal engineers can be manually entered through the resources area. Contractors can be given access to view, manage and complete their instructed jobs in the contractor portal. They can also create quotes, enter costs, upload documents, add job notes, and take photos. Currently, there is no upload center for resources, but TrackPlan can load them in your behalf if you provide a spreadsheet in a good format. In the settings area, many of the dropdowns and email templates can be configured. Before creating jobs, we recommend at least you look at the, these settings such as user and user types for user management, job requests, email templates, reactive and planned job types, job priorities, asset classes, site regions and site types, resource traits and qualifications, location types, Assets can be created in the Assets area. Each asset must belong to an asset class. Each asset must have a unique asset code or serial number. Asset can be tagged with QR codes. Job and plan schedules can be set up for assets. Assets can be loaded in form of a spreadsheet using the Upload Center, but we recommend creating the assets through the interface for a small number of assets, just like with the site. Plan maintenance schedules can be set up in the plan maintenance and plan schedules area. Each schedule must be set up for sites, locations, or assets. Multiple sites, locations, or assets can then be attached to the plan schedule. You can also set up a maintenance schedule quickly against a specific site or asset from the plan schedules tab on the site or asset detail page. There are three schedule types. The most commonly used is regular. This creates one job at a time. A new job is created once the current due job is completed. The job generator creates jobs behind the scenes every 20 minutes, but you can also kick off this process by selecting generate jobs on the three dots on the top of the page. 
In the forms area, you can design forms to help with inspection, risk assessments, surveys and meter readings. You can create multiple questions per form with several question types including yes, no, text, number, photo, signature, pass and fail, drop down, Forms can be attached to reactive jobs and planned schedules for completion by the facilities management team or contractor. You can also complete forms on the fly against sites and assets. Straws can be completed against jobs. In addition, in the finance area, multiple budgets can be set up and jobs can then be attached to one of these budgets. Job types and subtypes can be set to assign the job to a specific budget or this can be selected manually once the job is created. Documents and photos can be uploaded against sites, jobs, assets and resources. In addition, you can create document tags to help categorize or organize documents. Well, that will be all for now. I hope the video was useful and I hope you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!